What's up guys, Adit here, and welcome back to another video after a very long time. And I'm missing out my overlay. There we go. So yeah, uh, welcome back to another video after a very long time. As I said, uh, my mic broke and I couldn't record anything and I was waiting for something to be on sale. But it never happened, right? Like always when you need it, then it's not there. So anyways, I picked this uh, mic up for 60 bucks, about 60 bucks. Uh, I think it's decent, but it could be a bit cheaper, really. Just being honest over here. I'm not like rich or anything, saying like, whoa, uh, this price is awesome, or I could, I'd just pick up something for 100 bucks, uh, because it's better. I just need something for tutorials, and now I have it finally, oh my god. So, whoops, um, as announced on Twitter, I did some things, some cool overlay things with DirectX. You can use DirectX, you can use OpenGL, you can use the Windows drawing thing I have there. I think they have it as well. So it doesn't really matter, you're just drawing on screen. If you would be internally drawing using the drawing functions of the game or like hooking into the drawing then it would matter which one you use because you have to use what the game is using. So in this case this game is using DirectX, I'd have to go with DirectX. But in this particular case it's just my personal choice or most people like to use it. Some people like to use OpenGL instead. But it, as I said, it doesn't really matter if you can do it with one thing, it's just about how you use the functions the uh, OpenGL or DirectX give you. And the rest is just the same formulas, mathematical stuff for drawing the box or drawing whatever you want to draw. So, we know we have a recall in the game. When I shoot, I have something drawn on the screen which indicates where from the recoil my bullet is going to go. Obviously if I move, the spread is not taken care of. It's, it's just random stuff. But right here it's indicating where it goes. And what does that mean? I can hold it, try hold it on one spot. I think you're better if you do it out of your muscle memory. Or yeah, if you know the pattern by heart like this. It's better than you try to follow the square once it gets left, right, left, right. But yeah, this is one of the features we can use the drawing function for. Another one will be basically just a box. Then we have a box, it goes from the head hive to where the position is at. If you're just looking at the position, the beginning of the bones, uh, of the bone matrix, right there and bone number 8, the head. We can uh, check which bones they are if we draw the bones at their positions. So we could obviously build a bone ESP going from each point of these drawing something. Up to here, here, arm, whatever you want. And once again, this is an overlay. We're using the so-called view matrix to get the position in the game. Because the game is 3D, we need to use that. We get the position in the game and basically sort of convert it to where that is on our screen. So what we need for that is the screen we have or the resolution in this case of our desktop, because we draw on top. We have to get that information to know where we have to draw it. Otherwise it would be, I don't know, it would be messed up. Also we have to use the distance, so we remain the proportional s size of the box. So it shouldn't be getting bigger or smaller in proportion to the player. And obviously if we can draw on it, we can draw anything we want. There are no 
limitations of what you can do with it as long as you can think of it. Really there is not. Pros of an overlay. The overlay can't be seen by recording software or streaming software if set up. Sorry I was interrupted. So the pros of this will be gaming recording software can't always see it so if set up properly we can make it disappear or not be visible for the gaming recording software. Means that if you're a streamer and you like to stream with cheats then you can use the overlay or the overlay is the best choice for playing with all hack on stream because the streaming software won't pick up the overlay unless you're recording the desktop. If you're recording the game window it's invisible. Now for those of you guys who don't believe me that you can't see the overlay with recording software if I don't want them to be seen, here is a clip where I recorded just the CSGO window and you'll notice right away that I shoot through walls without even seeing in the game through walls. And you can cheat on stream. <laughs> so yeah, that's... That's something really you can't ever trust someone he's not cheating on stream, even if he's streaming, right? Downside is that it's not as precise as it would be internally, because it relies on drawing um, on top of the screen, which means that if your mathematical function doesn't contain anything about the um, circular perspective, so if I'm moving here and there, you can see it's moving a slight bit. And you can also see that the guy is getting bigger if I move to the right or left. So the side effect is that my box remains the same, but the guy is getting bigger, so it's getting a bit off. And yeah, it's not perfect from every angle and position looking at him because it's just an overlay. So this is one of the cons against uh, drawing on our overlay. Also, you can't play in full screen mode because then you can't obviously draw the overlay. So you have to either be window mode or full screen window mode. Where on the other side you can do it internally and you can play in full screen. So yeah, I think this is pretty much it. Not sure if I'm going to do the tutorial in DirectX or OpenGL or I think the Windows uh, drawing thing tutorial already exists. But to be honest, it doesn't matter what you use because at the end it's just knowing how to draw the box on your player. And the other thing is like just using the functions a bit differently. And by this I mean if you can do it with one thing, then you can do it with anything. If you can find out how to how to draw. Just gonna show a few more things. So we have the box, we have the corners. Some of the people like them to be equally sized. I like them to be higher, uh, longer on the height and shorter on the width. Because we obviously drawing a rectangular shape not a square. Uh, we can draw health bars, we know how to read health right from the trigger bot tutorial from I don't know if from anything else but trigger bot tutorial of course we can draw it differently so I have two types of it here one is inside the box one is outside the box and slim but pretty much the same thing. Didn't want to make that screenshot. And bones and the snap lines. The snappy snap lines. Also a classic thing. Some of the people like it to go from the center of screen to there. Or some of them like it to go to the head. It doesn't really matter. I don't know even what the purpose really is. I myself don't really like the 
uh, the line here. I just like it straight box and maybe health edit like this. That's it. That's all I need for cheating. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the tutorial. See you next time. Peace out.